Hey everybody, my name is Chris. Welcome to Casual Fragrances. If you're new to this channel, I talk about fragrances, I do reviews, and I do giveaways. So if this information sounds cool and helpful to you on your fragrance journey, consider clicking that red subscribe button down below so you won't miss a fragrance video at all. Click the bell icon so you can notify when I upload a new video or giveaway video, and leave a comment down below if you're new to the channel so I can welcome you. I'm gonna announce the six winners um, in the giveaway that I did last week. So I'm announce all the winners today. You have five days to respond back to me through my email. I'll leave down below in the description. Um, within five days, let me know so I can get your package out to you. Um, you saw the fragrance of your samples. If you want a different sample, I have my collection. Let me know. I'll get you a two mil sample of any fragrance in my collection. No worries, um, but you have to be USA only. So if I call your name, you're not USA only, I can't send you the product, so I apologize. But I think everybody is USA only. So if you don't win, I do apologize, but here are the winners. Number one, we have Isaac Ways. Um, number two, we have James Hawkins. Number three, we have Mike W. Number four, Ramen A. Number five, we have Perfume with Pat. Number six, we have Captain Sensible. So I'm going to leave all your winner's name down below in the comment section and post your comment on the screen right here. Um, please reach out to me within five days so I can send you your sample of any Dolce Gabbana I have or American Perielas or a different fragrance in my collection. Just let me know so I can get it out to you. It'll be a two mil sample. The new fragrance is from the house of BBK. This is a niche brand. They've been around since 2016. And I'm like, wow, like this is, I heard about this brand through Steven from Red Lesson, so I was curious about it. So before the video starts, shout out to Steven, let me borrow this bottle to review on my channel. This is his bottle. Thank you, Steven, I appreciate it. Let me borrow this uh, fragrance and I'll give you guys my full review. So they have a bunch of fragrances, they have over 13 fragrances in their lineup. My favorite from the lineup is Citrus Riviera. Amazing citrus, fresh, sweet fragrance. I will be buying a bottle soon. I'm gonna review it on my channel. But you can pick up this bottle here. This is 100 mil, it goes for $180. I'm gonna put it at Perfumology. I'll leave the link down below. Reach out to Neo or buy samples for about uh, eight to $10 for a two mil sample. Or you go to Lucky Sense and you can buy a bottle or a sample too. I'll leave all the links down below where you can buy a bottle, a full bottle or a sample. It's your choice. Let's talk about the presentation. So the presentation is pretty cool, has a black cap, has the bottle, beautiful clear bottle with the red juice and it says BBK Parfum Paris. And other side it has Rose, Rogue Smoking, all the Parfum. So great, great high quality concentration. The box is pretty simple. Box, you know, it slides in, it shows the bottle and everything looks pretty nice. You got the batch code on the bottom, information, pretty good. Let's talk about the note breakdown. The note breakdown for this fragrance right here, we have the top, Italian bergamot, cherry accord, pink berries, black vanilla, heliotrope in the heart, and the base we cover up is umbroxan, as any fragrance has umbroxan, cashmere, tonka bean, labanum, white musk. So on my skin, I spray it on my skin a little bit so I can get familiarity of the fragrance. Spray a little bit right here. Sprayers are awesome, look at that. You can control your sprays, pretty cool. So, when this opens up, okay, when this fragrance opens up, you're gonna get that fresh citrus in the opening, that bergamot, but then that phase within the first five to 10 minutes, it's gone. And then it opens up, you're gonna get um, definitely gonna get that cherry. I definitely get some vanilla in the background with that black vanilla and heliotrope. And the vanilla and the heliotrope are in another fragrance which I have here, and it's Parfums de Marley. And this is Pegasus with that vanilla and heliotrope. So you get a vibe like that. It's not the same as this is, ladies and gentlemen, but it has that vibe of Parfums de Marley with that vanilla note in it and the heliotrope in this fragrance. So if you like that fragrance, you're definitely gonna like this one but this is primarily a cherry sweet fragrance. This isn't gonna be a fresh and clean fragrance. This is more on the sweet side. I would say somewhat of a gourmand type of a fragrance. This is something that you're not going to probably reach for in the summer or spring. Just to be honest, I mean, if you wanna wear it, go ahead because you're the one buying the fragrance. So I want you to be happy buying the fragrance. But me personally, if this was my bottle, I sure wouldn't reach for it in the spring and summer, a no-no. In the middle of the fragrance, you're gonna pick up that cherry because it's 
primary way the beginning, the mid, and the end. But what it is is in that mid, you get more of the cherry and you pick up some more, you pick up some spices. Even though spices aren't listed as note, I pick up some spices or incense in this fragrance here, even though there is some uh, pink berries in it too. But primarily, I do get it a little bit of an incense-y kind of a, it's sweet, and I get some type of incense kind of like smokiness, even though there's no smoke or black currant in this fragrance at all to give it that smoky or birch vibe, but I do pick up on that fragrance in this fragrance here, I apologize. And then in the dry down in the fragrance, I definitely pick up another fragrance, the tonka bean in it, that gives that sweetness. I pick up Feb Delicios by Christian Dior. That tonka bean in it, kind of similarity to this. It's kind of sweet, not overly sweet, but it's in there. You can detect a tonka bean in this fragrance here, which tonka bean is listed as a note, but I just feel like those two fragrances, you're gonna smell a similarity to this. But this is primarily a cherry, excuse me, sweet fragrance. If you like a sweet fragrance with cherry, if you like tonka bean, you know, if you like musk, cause there is musk in this fragrance too, you're gonna like this fragrance. It's hands out, you're gonna like it. It's a gourmand sweet fragrance and it's going to be, it's going to be a crowd pleaser. People are gonna like it. Even I feel like females are gonna like it and I feel like females might wanna wear this. It could lean feminine with the sweet notes. I know a lot of guys don't like sweet fragrances. So keep that in mind. Definitely get yourself a sample. Whether you Lucky Sense or Perfumology, I don't get paid any money, I'm just saying these are the websites I looked up for you guys where you can buy it at, at the regular retail price, no problems. Let's talk about the performance category. Projection, four hours length for the first two hours on my skin. The first two hours on my skin is where you're gonna get most of your projection, where it's gonna give you that nice big cloud around you when you walk around. People are gonna catch whiff of this fragrance and they're really gonna enjoy it. They're gonna smell a cherry, a sweet vibe, maybe some tonka bean, maybe more in the dry down when you walk by people. But people are gonna like this fragrance unless they don't like sweet fragrances or if you overspray yourself, it might be too coin for some people. And what I mean by that is I wouldn't go heavy on a trigger. Maybe one, two, three, maybe three sprays, you're good to go. If you're gonna be indoors, if you're gonna wear this to work, I would say one spray to work. This is gonna say side because it might be coin to some people. It might fill up a room off of your skin. I'm not sure. I know I did three sprays at work. I still have a mask on, but I can smell it through my mask. So it was pretty strong on me, but nobody said anything negative. It was more of like, oh wow, I like that. I, I smell uh, sweet, I smell, uh, what they were saying, I smell some cherries or some strawberries, which strawberry is not in there, but they smell a strawberry cherry type of vibe and people do like it. But like I said before, when I say it was 180 bucks, nobody really wanted to buy it. They felt like that's too much for a fragrance. And I get that. These fragrances are for somebody that wants to smell different. These are not your Blue Day Chanel, these are not your Dior, Dior Sauvage. These are sweet gourmand type of fragrances that not everybody's gonna wanna wear these fragrances, especially in the fall and winter. Cause you can't wear it all year round as a fragrance. It's not a signature scent fragrance. Maybe for the fall and winter months, yes, but definitely not for spring and summer is a no-no. Longevity, okay. So longevity for me, I'm getting about eight hours on my skin. I have no problems. I get through the whole work day with eight hours and the amount of sprays I do, I do, I pretty much I'll one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three. Now I do three on my neck to be on the safe side at work and I do about five sprays here because I want to test it throughout the day when I'm at work. So I usually have a jacket on because it's air conditioned through the whole building. So at my breaks, I get my 15 minute coffee break, my 30 minute lunch, and my 15 minute um, last break before I go home. So I'm constantly seeing if I catch whiffs of it and I can get through the eight hours. Maybe even longer, by the eight hour mark, I cut it off because if I get eight hours in a fragrance and you're paying over a hundred bucks, that's what I want in a fragrance. Me personally, because my money is very valuable to me and I'm not trying to buy stuff that doesn't perform. It's not worth it to you guys for me to review it. It's not worth me buying it. Unless there's a problem with the fragrance and I really do enjoy it and there's a reason behind it. But this one here, eight hours, no questions asked. Cotman factor. People said they liked it. They said they smell, it was sweet, nothing amazing. They're like, oh man, I smell, I smell strawberries. I smell cherries the type of vibe, like somewhat of a dessert they smelled, but it wasn't like nothing, you know, out of the order. It was like, oh my God, it's sexy. I need to buy the fragrance. It was nothing like that. I mean, it was just, there were nice comments and they were curious about the fragrance, the note breakdown and what the bottle looked like. So 
it's a plus. Were they gonna buy it? No. Less than anything over 100 bucks, nobody's gonna buy it that I know personally that isn't a frag head. It's all good. Seasons and occasions. Okay, so season wise, like I said before in the beginning, which is really simple, fall and winter only fragrance. Pretty simple. Okay, so occasions, you can wear a dress up if you want because it will give you a statement. It will uh, put a statement in you and people will like it and it'll garner you some type of attention and wanna, people want to talk to you. Um, uh, you can wear it casual in the fall and winter if you want, especially if it's cold outside. It will cut through that cold weather, whether you live on the East Coast or, you know, colder control environments in the world. It'll cut through that, hopefully. Um, I'm trying to think what else I would even say for that. I mean, if you want to, I feel like if you want to wear a dress up, go ahead. If you want to wear it casual, that's great. I feel like you can wear it any time in the fall and winter unless you don't want anything sweet or you don't want to be the, the the projection type of person where people can catch whiff of this type of fragrance. If you want a lighter base scent, I would prefer, prefer something different. This is more of a louder scent and people are going to notice you're wearing this fragrance. Whether they say something or not, they will know you're wearing a fragrance. Ratings and final thoughts. Okay, so from a scale of one to 10, which I always do in my videos, I'm going to give this a 8.5. It does everything you want a fragrance to do. It performs really good, above average, um, longevity is great for eight hours. Might get more, but I cut off at eight hours. Cotton factor is there. People have smelled it and they do like the fragrance off of me. Um, the only con I see, I can't give it the perfect 10. It's not versatile. You can't wear this in the spring and summer. It would be coin. I think it would be too much to wear with the heat and everything. I'm sorry about the heat, everything. It's just too much. And you're just, you're not going to be happy. People around you are going to probably feel offended because you're wearing a sweet fragrance in hot, uh, uh, hot temperature weather. That's just me personally, but if you want to wear the fragrance, go ahead, but please be loud on the trigger. You don't want to offend other people around you. You don't want to be Mr. Cologne guy. You don't want to be the person that people want to walk away or people that start to hate fragrances because you're, you're applying too much. There's a time and a place for different amount of sprays on your fragrance. Please keep that in mind. I, all I got to say about this fragrance is I do like this fragrance. I feel like if I had this bottle, I would probably wear this more um, more dressier occasions. Like I wouldn't wear this day to day in full. When I would wear this like if I was going on a date with my girlfriend or we were going to like a, a party for her job, like a banquet or like a Christmas party, I would definitely wear this because it's something different and people are gonna like this type of fragrance, especially in the fall and winter, but other than that, I can't really suggest like going out and buying this right now unless you want a sweet tonka bean, uh, some musk, um, some heliotrope, some vanilla, some cherry, uh, definitely a cherry fragrance, some smokiness in it. And do I get a spice bomb vibe? Yeah, definitely with that spice season I get in, I get a spice bomb vibe. And I do like it. If you like spice bomb, you're gonna like this too, but it's more of a cherry based fragrance. Spices and cherry. And if you like that, you're gonna like this fragrance. But remember, it has that vanilla and tonka bean. So you're going to get other notes that you may not like as much as you like the cherry. But cherry is the primary note in this fragrance that you're going to catch with for the first six, seven hours on your skin cherry and then it's going to dry down more into more of a vanilla slash tonka bean vibe slash musk so definitely check this one out here i met a woman could wear i feel like it leans more towards a female wearing it my girlfriend likes this one a lot so i might buy her a bottle but if you heard this fragrance bbk parfum paris uh this is rogue smoke this is auto parfum so concentration is good um leave your comments now if you heard about it have you tried it? Do you like it? What's your favorite from the lineup? Like I said before, mine is uh, Citrus Riviera. I love that one. I'll be buying a bottle soon at Perfumology. Shout out to my boy Nier. Thanks for watching another fragrance video, ladies and gentlemen. If you did win the contest, please email me down below with your information so I can reach out to you, please. Um, yeah, five days from today. Thanks for watching another fragrance video. I'll see you guys in the next one.